Well, South Africans woke up to the sad news of the passing of renowned sport broadcaster, uh, Mr. Dumila Mateza, who had been with uh, the public broadcaster for well over 30 years, doing uh, what uh, so many of us would be doing years later. And uh, I'm joined now to talk about the sad passing uh, by one of the family members, Mr. Luyolo Mateza. Luyolo, thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, can you confirm the sad news for us this morning? Uh, good morning. Good morning to your listeners. Um, yes, um, U Pradunga has passed on. He passed on last night around six. Um, yeah, and and that's that's where we are as a family at the moment. We just want to thank the nation for all the messages uh, of support and condolences. We we really appreciate that. Thank you. Luyolo, are we able to confirm the cause of death at this moment? Um, he, he he suffered from cancer for for a long time, um, and it was colon cancer. And you know he he fought as best he could, um, but unfortunately, you know the doctors it, they couldn't they couldn't help him. Um, it had spread really and touched on other organs as well. So um, it was, yeah, they, they, they've gone too far. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Liolo, we know uh, that Dumilo Mateza as a broadcaster, uh, a genius of, of his time in, in, in uh, sport broadcasting, so many codes. You'd think he's just a boxing person. The next thing he's doing rugby, he's doing uh, football as well. But obviously to you guys, he was uh, an uncle, a father, someone you were close with uh, as a family member. Who was Dumila Mateza uh, within uh, the boundaries of family? Um, he, he was our oldest brother, you know. Um, he was our go-to guy, if, you know, as the when we needed uh, leadership. Um, he he was very accommodative and uh, supportive of everything that we were doing as we were growing up as his younger brothers, and and yeah, he uh, I mean he was uh, the person who also helped in conducting my negotiations, you know, um, when I was getting married, and you know he he was. Our go-to guy. Mm, mm. A sad loss for your family, but but also because of all of this, all of those things that you mentioned, it wouldn't it have been easy to share him with the world? Uh, was it, uh, Luyolo? Um, well, <laughs> what what one always got was, is there any relation every time? You know, and that was, you know, point of conversation. But um, he he belonged to the, the people of South Africa. Um, I mean, the jokes, you know, that people had, yeah, you know, that, that's who he was and that's how he was. Um, he was a people's person and he was out there, yeah. Mm. Luelo, I don't know it might be too early at this point to talk arrangements i'm not too sure how far you as the family have gotten or if you've even had the time to sit together and and look through what might happen through the rest of the week is there anything like that um we are meeting and we are in conversations with uh, other family members uh, but we will keep everyone updated and informed as to, you know, um, arrangements, uh, whether it's, um, what you call it, uh, memorial services and also when the uh, ceremony to, to lay him to rest will, will take place. But that will be in the next day or two, you know, we'll, we'll inform everyone. Any chance it might involve the the uh, national broadcaster as well? Yeah, we are in chat with them. They they have uh, contacted me, um, but we will definitely uh, keep everyone up to date.
All right, Luyolo Mateza, uh, family spokesperson of the Mateza family, uh, following the passing of uh, Mr. Dumila Mateza, a renowned broadcaster uh, in the world of sport here in South Africa. Condolences to you, condolences to the rest of the family and uh, the South African sporting and broadcasting fraternities.